We plan a title animation sequence in which the writing flies in from the right while the boat sails out of the frame. The program Title Motion is excellently suited for creating the planned title animation. First of all, the length of the animation needs to be considered. The words are to fly in at this point here, so we press I. Here, the letters should come to rest. This is about a second later. The title should end here, so we press O. In the monitor window, the actual length can be found under Duration. In title motion, times are always given in frames. When working in PAL, for example, 5 seconds 22 frames are the equivalent of 147 frames. In NTSC, the amount of frames will of course be different. As a standard, in title motion, titles are inserted into the current track at the timeline cursor. We go to the drop down box next to T and click on Title Motion Pro. Now we enter the text. A precondition to the next step is that the topmost line is activated. The text can be enlarged by clicking on Height and then Pulling. The correct line spacing is set by going to Element, Apply Leading. With Element, Align All and Center Screen, everything is moved to the center. We make the letters italic, give them a new, more pleasing color and add an outline. Now the animation work begins. To do that, the FX button is used. The characteristics are directed by keyframes. Each text line can be controlled separately. First of all, a second keyframe is inserted for each line. In the first key, the text should be outside the frame. We select the first key from here. To specify the horizontal position changes, we go into Register tab, Placement, and left click on Coordinate X. With the mouse still pressed, we pull the lettering to the correct position. Speed can be conveyed by a blur in the X axis. Blur is located under Filter Blur. Unlock the lock here, and separate settings can be made for each axis. 50% of the X axis should be enough. Using the on screen preview, you can already take a look at everything. Now we repeat the same steps again for the second line and take another look at it all. Now the time must be set. To do so, there is a register tab for time. Both lines of text are put into a timeline, just like with clips. The total length should be 147 frames. We zoom into the timeline a bit so that we can work better. In Tidal Motion, keys are separated from each other by a second. This can be changed, but one second is sufficient for this animation. The lines should enter the frame in brief succession. We move the lower clip a bit to the right and then we save and render it. In the timeline, the title clip is trimmed to fit the full length. Finished. Everything can now be played back in real time.